Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm about to get dressed and head out real quick. Um, yeah, I was I was checking out the whole Takashi Six Nine thing, all the drama that he say she say about it. Uh, the, you know, little dude taking the stand, and they mad at Six Nine. They should be mad at Six Nine, and they should also be mad at themselves, right? Now. How do I feel about what 6ix9ine did, right? I think 6ix9ine was foul, man. He was foul. He took down uh, his quote-unquote supposed to be friends, right? He got into that lifestyle. He had to know uh, what that lifestyle acquires. He had to, man. This dude is from Brooklyn. I'm not saying that he was out there like that. And I'm not saying he's a square either. This dude knew. He ain't stupid. You know, dude ain't slow. What happens is when you're in the streets, a lot of times you don't think it can happen to you or you're wishing it don't happen. Plenty of days, you know, the gangsters go outside. They know they're going to get shot eventually. They might die or they're going to go to jail. They know this. But something in the back of their head tells them, you know, you might survive this one, man. You might survive this day. You might be good and all of that, right? So in the back of their mind... You know, it's like an untouchable type of thing, you know? So, um, yeah, so I'm looking at the whole thing, and I'm like, wow, man, this is crazy, right? Everyone is emotional, and everyone is mad at 6 9 And like I said, they, they should be. They should be mad at him, right? Um, but these brothers, too, they should have realized what was going to happen. You know what I'm saying? You're starting this young brother. You know what I mean? You're starting him, you know, whatever, sleeping with his woman. Uh, I think Shadi denied it and the baby mother denied it. So it might not be true. But y'all doing all of this to this young dude. Y'all know he ain't built like that. Right? So they know eventually what was going to happen. Like I said, a lot of times people just feel that they lucky. Come on, baby. Come on, Mimi. That they feel that they, they lucky enough to where you know they can get over more or less you know what i mean and i feel bad um for all them brothers and like i said six nine is foul because these was his supposed to be friends supposedly holding this dude down and he goes and does this uh but what did they do also in the energy that they put out there you know what i'm saying they they should just kept it real with them you know what i mean because i know that there's a lot of uh the young Bloods, you know, older blood brothers, young blood brothers, that's what teaching. You know, they were teaching each other and whatnot. They didn't do right by that young brother, you know what I mean? They didn't do right by him. And the energy that was put out is the energy that came back to them. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I say I feel bad for them, but I don't feel sorry for no one in this situation, not even myself. If I was in this situation, I wouldn't feel sorry for myself. What I would do is I would just take it on the chin. And hey, life life goes on. You know, try to make the best of myself and situation while I'm in um on lockdown. You know what I mean? And um like but like I said, this should be a lesson for anyone that is thinking about getting into a gang, um, do wrongdoing, you know what I mean? Because evidently these dudes didn't really know uh anything about friendship. They didn't know nothing about friendship, they was not friends, man. What happened was, well, I'm gonna take a guess because I, you know, I don't know them cats. I wasn't, um, you know, I wasn't um, inside of them when they, you know, inside of their brain when they was thinking things. But what I'm gonna say, I think they seen the little dude as a bag, right? They seen him as a bag. Um, they seen him as money, and that's exactly. Um, get down, baby, and that's exactly how they treated him, and and, and this is what they get. You know, like I said, it's foul. You know, I feel bad for them brothers. I don't feel sorry for them because them brothers was of age. And they know, man, you're dealing with this cat. This cat ain't getting down like that. And you put him in a position. Put him in a position and he broke down. Like I said, this should be a lesson, man. Right? To all of the, the older G's and the younger G's. This should be a lesson, man. Do right by people. Do right by people. You know, this dude, talented, young dude. You know, he's getting his paper, doing this thing. He has a talent, and you want to steal that from him, man. You want to steal that friendly extortion, and this is what this is the results. 
This is the results. Can't really blame it on 6ix9ine totally. Got to, they got to blame it on themselves also.